Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms again and today we're going to take a look at the Altura Photo 67 inch monopod. Yes, I know we live in a world where everything has image stabilization, sometimes even 5 axis image stabilization, but guess what? Every once in a while you're going to need to get a little bit more stabilization because of the fact that you're working with larger magnification lenses and it's much more difficult to deal with that or even in low light situations it's always good to have something that gives you a little bit more of a steady hand. This guy extends out to 67 inches so it's able to work with most of us out there. Let's take a closer look at how to work with the Altura Photo monopod. Remember. If this video helps you out, hit me up with a like button underneath and also subscribe to our channel for future sessions and tutorials like this. Plus, as always, remember to leave any comments or questions below. Let's take a closer look. Here's your quarter inch thread. Remember, this is the standard in the industry. This allows you to work with pretty much every single camera that's on the market, whether it's a point and shoot, a DSLR or mirrorless. It has a non-skid surface here and also on the bottom notice that you have a spike and a rubber foot. So if you're on a flat surface you can extend this out and now you have a nice flat surface to work with. But if you're outdoors and you're in a situation where you have ground or sand or so forth you can close it up and now you have the spike foot where so you can actually stick it into the ground. It has the four section lock. Notice how this is the way you extend it and this guy is going to go all the way out to 67 inches so it accommodates every size photographer and videographer out there. Notice how it has a nice rubber padding grip here which gives you a nice surface to hold on to. Plus they also give you for added benefit a wrist strap so that you have a little bit more security and that way it's easier to carry also. Now considering that it is a quarter inch thread this means that you can now work with all the popular cameras that are out there. Very easy to attach. Here's your quarter inch thread. Remember this is the standard size out there and very common camera. This is the Canon 6D. There's your quarter inch thread. Put it on there. Twist you're done. It's perfectly on there now. So if you happen to have one of these hybrids, this is a very popular camera on the market. This is the Canon SX530. Many other models have the similar characteristics where you have these huge zoom lenses. There's your quarter inch thread. Again, line this up. It's easier just to turn the monopod. Once it's tight, and you'll know when it's tight because it's not going to come off, you're done. It's ready to go. All right. Now, of course, it'll work with the popular mirrorless cameras. Here's a perfect example. This is one of the more popular mirrorlesses out there. And this one, this Olympus now has their huge 40 to 150 zoom. So yes, the camera has five axis stabilization, but after working with a lens that's this heavy, remember, the Altura Photo Monopod can accommodate up to six and a half pounds and it weighs less than two pounds because it's made out of a lightweight aluminum. So again now in this situation you always want to attach it to the tripod collar that comes with the lens. So now it's perfectly on there and the reason I did this is if you need to do any vertical shooting you can loosen the collar up and notice how I can switch it to vertical or if I want to do horizontal. Now Let's say, for example, that you don't have a lens that works this way, all right? But you want to do vertical shooting. There are a lot of manufacturers that have come out with adapter heads that will work on here. This one happens to be a Manfrotto. This is a 234RC. And this threads right on. So now you have the capability of doing vertical shooting and it comes with a quick release plate so this now makes your life so much easier because you can now attach the quick release plate to the bottom of your camera and place it in here and you now have the capability of switching it over for vertical shooting or back to horizontal shooting 
So that gives you even more versatility with the Altura Photo monopod. All right, so now let's take a look at larger lenses. Here we have a very popular telephoto from Canon. This happens to be the EF 400 millimeter. So this is pretty heavy lens. It does not incorporate image stabilization. So here's a perfect example where you need to have something to give you better stability because after a while, hand holding this, you're gonna end up getting a blurry shot. So here's your tripod collar and here is the quarter inch thread from the Altura Photo monopod. Again, it's easier to turn the monopod, line it up, thread it on, there you go. And again, because of the fact that this is a tripod collar, they made it simple so that if you, let's extend this guy because this is actually starting to become heavy. Remember, this guy extends all the way up to 67 inches. So now, you release the tripod collar and you have your camera set for horizontal shooting or lock it in place and you have vertical shooting. Plus remember, always, especially when you're working with these heavy lenses, I would take advantage of the supplied wrist strap so that you have that extra capability of like, wow, you let go of this and you still have it attached. You don't want to lose your precious camera or lens. And when you're done, remove this, unthread it, close it up, and they provide you with a really nice carrying case where you can now put your Altura Photo monopod and it has a nice loop so you can hang it around your shoulder or even attach it to your favorite camera bag and this goes with you everywhere so all in all a really nice and actually pretty economical take a look at it it's on a lot of sites Amazon eBay digitalgoja.com and you can pick it up for a really reasonable price now you have the added benefit of being able to work with your heavier lenses and not have issues with movement or blurriness. And of course, remember, this guy extends out to 67 inches. So even if you're a little bit on the taller side, you can extend the four locking legs and set it up so that you now have the perfect height to go out and do some happy shooting.